Here is a tar pit in the Rancho La Brea region as it may have looked 30 or 40,000 years ago. This is one of a dozen or more pools that occurred in the center of a grassy plain. On this plain and in the nearby hills, a great many different kinds of animals had their homes. Here lived the imperial mammoth, a plant-eating animal related to a present-day elephant. It often grew to be 13 feet high, twice as high as the tallest man. Another animal that lived here was the Teratornus, a great bird much bigger than a present-day eagle. The Teratornus was a kind of vulture. It ate the remains of animals that were dead or dying, tearing its victims with its large hooked beak. When it opened its wings, they must have measured 11 to 12 feet from tip to tip. Here too lived the dire wolf, perhaps one of the largest wolves that ever lived. It often hunted in groups or packs. The dire wolf had a large heavy head and very strong jaws. Another animal that was found here was the saber-toothed cat. As big as today's African lion, the saber-toothed cat was a strong and dangerous hunting animal. It takes its name from the two huge teeth that grew down from its upper jaw. A great many other kinds of animals lived on these grassy plains. A kind of camel lived here. This animal was similar in some respects to today's llama of South America, but it was much larger. It ate the grasses of the plain. One of the most interesting of these ancient animals, perhaps, was the giant ground sloth, a strange lumbering plant-eating beast whose closest relative was the little tree sloth of Central and South America. The giant ground sloth was bigger than today's grizzly bear. Standing erect, it would have towered over a tall man. Other animals lived here in prehistoric times. Animals like the ancient bison, the great lion, and many smaller animals, like the skunk, the jackrabbit, and others. But how were the bones of these animals preserved in tar for us to find today? Perhaps a camel stepped into a pool of tar covered by dust and dirt. It was caught to be held forever. Or perhaps rain had covered a tar pool with water. An ancient bison may have stopped to get a drink. But as he stepped into the pool, he sank slowly into the tar. His struggles and cries as he tried to escape brought the saber-toothed cat to attack him. The saber-toothed, too, was caught, perhaps later, to be fed upon by the giant vulture-like Teratornus. Over the centuries, tens of thousands of animals were trapped in these pits, piled one on top of the other underneath the tar. The soft parts of their bodies decayed, but their bones remained as fossils for man to find and study.